There we go. Hey, this is Thursday, September 10th, and probably also Friday, September 11th. Uh, we're going to be getting into more about short stories and teaching kids, I don't know, words and stuff like that. Excuse me. Um, I get to make fun of a handful of kids in just a moment, uh, which we'll get to here in a second, because I have some kids who have not turned in a homework assignment yet. So those kids, I'm going to have to call you out, uh, and then we're going to try and move on from there. So here's the part where in a moment I get to snarkily attack a few of you. So with the IXL homework, one of the homeworks was already due. The homework HH.2 that we did in class, that's already due, and that's already up on Skyward. And some of you ain't not done did it, which is why you currently have a zero. Some of you tried to do it, but directions are not your friend. And in that case, that's also why it's probably not up on there either. I'm going to walk you through it in a second, and I'm going to tell those of you who are missing it who's missing it so that you can go back and fix it. Uh, but again, those of you who did well on the quiz, you already have a grade for G.3 and K.3, but you still had to do HH.2 to prove to me that you knew what you were doing and all of that. Those of you who have not turned it in yet, you're my kids I'm currently missing it from, and you're going to want to turn it in so you can still at least get a four out of five. You cannot get a five out of five once it's late, but you can get a four out of five. Rye, I'm missing yours. Eli, I'm missing yours. Sasha, the girl who's just sitting there with a weird face, I'm missing yours. And um, Robbins, I'm missing yours. I can't use your first name because there's 12 of you. Uh, Jaden, I'm missing yours. Girl who loves Christmas, I'm missing yours. And kid who doesn't think I can record class, even though I'm doing it right now, I'm missing yours. Now, a couple things. Here's where some of you are going to go, Mr. Broviak, me turn mine in, you big dum-dum. Well, you're right. One of us is big dum-dum, but it turns out it's not me. Because some of you are not good at following directions. There were directions? There were directions where it said you have to show your name, you have to have the name of the lesson, and you have to have the SMART score all in that same screenshot. Otherwise, I gave you a zero. Some of you turned this in, where literally this was your screenshot. Mr. Brobiak, which kid is that? I would tell you, but I don't know because their name's not on it, so I can't. So if you turn it without a name, I gave you a zero, and I put that on Canvas. I said, oh, you big dum-dum. Mr. Brobiak, you can't call us that. I just did. I mean, I would never call you a dum-dum because I'm on your side and I'm your friend. But some of you guys called yourself big dum-dum because you could not follow directions. Directions should be your friend. Now, here's the drawback. Now that it's late and many of you are turning it in, I'm not going to grade it unless you email me because I'm not going back in to look for late assignments because that's more work for me. <laughs> yeah, good job. This is my – and so again, <laughs> yes, Mallory, we're having a conversation with each other. <laughs> Sorry, you're now going to have to email me so that I know that it is there. Otherwise, you are out of luck. If you don't email me, then I'm not going to grade it. Mr. Brodiak, can I put it into chat? No, I'm not going to check chat after class. Chat is for right now. It's Twitch chat, not I did my homework chat. So you're going to have to go back and actually turn it in and then send me an email. And then the highest grade you can get is a four out of five because apparently directions were not your friend. Mr. Brobiak, I'm going to drop out of school. Probably. I mean, I wouldn't recommend it as literally one point. Um, but better to learn now than later on when we get to the other ones. Uh, yes, Greta. I am going to give you five out of five, minus one point. Good try. Um, Eli, you, I, the same thing I told Greta, Eli, every time you raise your hand and put it down, I put you to the end of my kids. I'm going to torture you. So those of you who get it turned in, make sure you email me to go back and look for it and then I'm more than happy to grade it for you, unless you're happy with your grade of having a big fat honk and zero. The others of you, the other IXL is due coming up on Friday, just so you are aware, not Friday, I lied, that's tomorrow. Saturday, which is like Friday, but later in time. Eli, so you can stop raising your hand over and over again, what's up? It says you graded it on my canvas, but I have a zero in Skyward. Correct. Did you go look at Canvas to find out what you did wrong like a responsible kid, Eli, without making me make fun of you? Wait, what? Look at that, Eli. 
Mr. Broviak, you should have told us ahead of time you're feeling extra snarky. Wait, I did. I told you I'm feeling extra snarky. I started class with it. Special children. So yeah, uh, anytime that you guys mess things up like that, I put the thing on Canvas. So if you go look at Canvas, it'll tell you what you did wrong, and it'll literally be right there. Because again, my heart is humongous. It's the size of like an acorn. Uh, and then Eli, there's a chance I messed up. In that case, Eli, email me, and there's a chance that you got a five out of five. And I'm, if you did that, then you're good to go. I am human, Eli. Don't make me apologize. I'll be embarrassing. Uh, but yeah, if on Canvas I gave you a five out of five and you had all the directions followed, then you just go ahead and email me and go, hey, Mr. Broviak, who's big dumb dumb now? And there's every chance it could be me. Because I do have to hang out with kids sometimes, and sometimes I get to be big dumb dumb. Um, Carson, the answer is yes, but only if you find a way to travel through time. Um, oh, that is a little rough on that one. Um, I didn't know you were there. Oh, well, they do have the wildfires. Uh, Carson, if you have big person in your house, email me, then yes, uh, that could possibly work. You might have found the rare way of traveling through time. If big person in your house emails me, then there's a possibility of that one. And then I'm okay with that. All right. Now I go, oh, wait. By the way, this is what I was looking for when I was going through and doing it. Um, looking for finding your name, finding the name of the assignment, and then finding smart score. Do we have to use that same screen? No. Literally, there was like, I don't know, five different screens you could use. And I know that because grading them, there's like five different versions of this I saw. What I looked for was your name, which assignment it was, and then the score. And then you're good to go. Maddie, all of the IXLs that are not HH.2, so K3 and G, G3. So I only have, we only have three. One we've already done, so the other two. That would help you out. Uh -huh. So then Carson, you're going to have to keep going to different screens. One of your screens will have your name on it. This is called you having to do work. Uh, I mean, I would do work, but I'm lazy. Um, it's much easier for me to not do work and just make you guys figure out how to do it. Or, again, there's directions on my Canvas page. Mr. Broviak, what about hashtag lazy life? Don't worry. We've got more hashtag lazy life coming up in just a moment. <sighs> All right, there's the turning it in, blah, 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 covered that. All right, here's the next thing. Some of you are going to need to either A, Good job, Schnipple, way to turn it in. I just got a message popping up on my watch. So now here's the next thing for you. Some of you are going to do what's going to be called two boxing. If you are not a gamer and you don't know what two boxing is, two boxing is when you're going to have two machines going at the same time. Like right now, I'm two boxing. I have my laptop and I have my iPad. And I get to use both of them. The reason I'm telling you that is because in a moment, you are going to want to see Zoom and take notes at the same time. Now, for those of you who have access to a printer, you can just print it off and then write it by hand. That's fine with me. Those of you who don't have access to a printer, you're welcome to use a random piece of paper and then do all of this later. That's also fine with me. Others of you, you may want to write all of this down digitally, and I am fine with you writing it down digitally, and I'm going to show you how to do it digitally. So allow me to help you out. Here we go. All right, Ooh, just like that TikTok song. Uh -huh. So if you go to my main Canvas page again, for you guys, you can either go to where it says today's info page or right above today's info page, it says short story notes. What you're getting ready to do is download short story notes. That is what you're going to need. So those of you wanting to print it, you can tap it and print it. And that's fine with me. But I'm going to be having you write stuff down on it because this is what you we're creating your own cheat sheet. So here's how it's going to work with you creating your own cheat sheet. The stuff you write down on here, you get to use when it comes time for the test and quiz. So instead of me giving it all to you, now I'm going to make you have to do some work. But Mr. Broviak, what if we're lazy? Then you're not going to write anything down. You're just going to draw a picture of a squirrel running up a tree and then be like, Mr. Broviak. What are the answers on the quiz? And I'll go, well, what do you have on your sheet? And you'll go, it's a squirrel in a tree. I'm like, oh, you're team dum-dum. And you'll go, me team dum-dum. And then we're not gonna be able to help you out. So this is where we're gonna try and not have you do that. Mr. Broviak, why are you babbling right now? Because I'm trying to buy kids time to run to their printer. 
because I'm watching six kids run down hallways to go to their printers. So I was trying to be nice, so I was stalling for a moment. Now, for the rest of you who are wanting to do it digitally, here's how you do it digitally. By the way, that's a really fun word to say, digitally. Uh -huh. All right, so you have to open it into uh, Safari. It does not work in Chrome, as far as I know. If you can get it to go in Chrome, go you, flex on this fool. Uh, I only know how to do it in Safari. So I know in Safari, hang on just one second, it's no offense against Sasha, but I'm gonna have to remove her video because it's distracting me. Uh, I, I see you, Owen. Um, if, if you know, so, so here is how you do it on, <laughs> oh, I'm going insane. Here's how you do it on Safari. So in the top corner, you're gonna have little little box with arrow, box with arrow. If you tap box with arrow, wait, back up. To get to that screen, you tap on short story notes. Wherever you see the spots where it says short story notes, you tap it, it comes to this screen. You tap box with arrow, and you're gonna scroll a little bit until you see the word markup, not make up. That's what I wear on the weekends when I want to feel pretty. You're gonna do markup, which is, compl <laughs> which is completely different. Don't be judgy. Once you hit markup, now it's going to pop up with this screen. This works on any PDF for any class. So if you wanna use it for other classes, you could. Yes, I see the fact that you have it right there in front of you. That's a squirrel in a tree. I'm so proud of you. So once you have it digitally, then you're going to have different writing things you can choose from. I would recommend the first one because that's like a pen. There's also a highlighter, a weird pencil, which is like a pen but doesn't work as well, an eraser. You can choose the colors. If you tap on the writing utensil, you can also choose its thickness. For those of you who want to have like fatty bin baddies or thinny bin binnies, you can choose whichever one from there. You can also choose your color over to the right, where it has black and blue and green and yellow and red. And there's also a rainbow button. If you hit rainbow button, it pops up with like a whole bunch of colors. And then you can choose anything you want to write with. And that's fine with me also. Yes, I see you writing on your piece of paper. Then once you write on it, you just go ahead and pick wherever the spot is you wanna write. And this is where having like your adorable stylus comes in, like my adorable stylus. And then you can just write on it. If you need to zoom in, uh, yes, Sasha, that's why I turned it off, because of my jealousy. Nicely done. You called me out, you sass. Um, so if you need to, like for me, I can write my name up there in the top, but it looks like a first grader did it because it's all like kind of hard to do with my finger. You can zoom in and you can then write better or, or, or correct. The third page is blank. It's only two pages, but for some reason it prints the third page just to taunt you. So only worry about the first two pages. So now to zoom in, you go back up to that top right hand corner and you turn off the writing thing and then you can like zoom into the boxes and then you can write really small. And that makes it easier to write in the little small boxes. So that is up to you. So we'll look at here, look, hang on, back up. Look, big kindergarten writing, special seventh grade writing. And so you can zoom in to make it happen. Now, some of you are like, but Mr. Broviak, my handwriting is atrocious. It looks like I taped a pencil to a chipmunk and slapped its tail as it ran across the page. Yeah, I agree. So in that case, you're probably gonna wanna do typey version, or as Valerie, she and I talk back and forth to each other, typey version, and here's how you get to typey version. Good job, by the way, tag in Valerie. If you go down to the bottom, next to the colors, it's gonna have a plus sign. If you go to plus sign, it says text, and you can tap on text, and now you put it wherever you want, and now you can write whatever you want in there and the little like keyboard comes up and you can do the texty thing into it and you can go typey typey and then you're good to go from there. All right, um, I'm so proud of you for stapling the two of them together. Um, I'm dry, that sounds like a you issue. I'm not sure how to help you either. And then you can edit and you can type it in where it says put words in here. And then each time you wanna put a new section in there, you'll notice when we're writing stuff in there in a moment, some of those boxes are really small and it may be tough to write some of the things in there. Thank goodness, Rye, I was really worried. Once you've written your stuff onto it, the next important thing is that you're gonna to want to save it so you don't actually delete it. Like my kid in first period, yes, good job. Those of you who have the paper version, I'm so proud of you. So to save the digital version, you tap done in the left-hand corner and you put save file and then you hit save. And you can save it wherever you want, but you're going to want to make sure you know where you're saving it to. Excuse me, because we're going to be using this again 
Oh, sorry, I did not mean to hiccup and burp at you guys. How embarrassing. We're using this again on Monday, and we're using it again on Tuesday. So you're going to want to make sure you know which one is which. So make sure you know where you're saving it and then save it to that spot. And you can change the name of it. Those of you doing paper version, now you know these directions are all on my Canvas page if you need them. And that is fine with me. I have both YouTube directions and I have both the printing off directions. It is up to you one way or the other. Those of you who have the paper version, and if you're thinking, Mr. Bobiak, how am I supposed to save my paper version? In the top left-hand corner of your piece of paper, you want to write save and then just hit that a couple times, and then that should save it for you so that you don't lose it. Mr. Proviac, you're a lifesaver. You're welcome. And then there's that. Then, by the way, when you're done, by, don't swipe it out, by the way. Don't be my kid in first period who we got done taking notes. And he was like, done, swipe. And he's like, where'd it go? And I'm like, you just deleted all of your work. And he's like, me big dum dum. And I'm like, yes, you, you big dum dum. I'm trying to save you guys from doing that one. All right. Sophia, have I gone long enough that you've completely forgotten your question and my plan worked out beautifully? Or do you still know what you're, no, I'm, all right. Sophia, you still have a question? I have a question, but it's kind of a stupid question, but then I realize not all questions are stupid. So here's my question. Is cereal considered soup? You are right, Sophia. That was a bad question. I'm so proud of you of your bad question recognition skills. What you want to do is send that as a text message to Greta. That way she can ask it, and then that way I could just ignore her. Mr. Bobiak, did you just throw shade at Greta? I did. Uh-huh. Into there. All right. Now, no, not happening, Greta. Me, me learning. So now it is time to start filling in our notes. So here's where filling in notes comes in. Either those of you who have paper version or those of you who have typey version, we're going to get to that part of it now. Ooh. Since we don't have a whole lot of time left with chat, since chat disappears next week, I figure we're going to do a couple more chat challenges. So here is our next round of chat challenge. And by the way, Sophia, I think the answer is yes. I imagine cereal probably is a type of soup. They're probably in the same family of something, but that is quite the weird question, but each their own. All right, here is our chat challenge. We're going to see which kids remember from our conversation that we had just the other day. So for plot, there was a specific word you had to have for the correct version. So I haven't asked the question yet. You can't start typing it in because then you're not going to get the credit. You have to wait till I, so what is that correct word? Now you can type it in. I can't count you, Ledford, you cheated. I can't count through you, Rye, you cheated. Sydney, that's actually setting. Valerie, that's also setting. Um, and so I know. And then Rye, good job, Rye. You're my first kid to officially get it correct by following directions and then coming in. Macknell, nicely done. Wheeze, nicely done. Lau, nicely done. Ledford, all right, now you're good to go. Maddie, that's not, that's just a, a random word, but I feel that's good. I feel very strong on that one. And then good again. Uh, Wheeze, I think you're doing your, your answer one at a time, which is also entertaining. Um, uh, Eli, good answer. Uh, ooh, Greta, big word, Greta. Not the right word, but that was a big word. Kind of proud of you on that one. All right, and then, all right. No, uh, Evelyn, you're a special child. Then, all right, and then, wow, uh, then what? Uh, and then, so, all right. Good job. I can't, I'm not going to congratulate all of you. You're not all that special. But the correct thing is what happens in the story. Mr. Bobiak, is this what we're writing down? Yes, this is what you're writing down or typing down or digitally doing. Or for some of you, you're taking your chipmunk and then you're taping your pencil to the back of it, and you're going to smack it and just watch it run across the paper and go, I hope it spells the right thing. And you're like, oh, that kind of weird. And you're good to go. Renzo, typing the wrong word a whole bunch of times does not make the wrong word correct. But I like how you tried to commit to that one. Nicely done. As if saying it a whole bunch of times was going to convince me it was the correct word. Special children on that one. All right. Nicely done. So we have what happens in a story. We might actually have time to get to the fun game today. See, 
Here's our next one. Now I don't get too excited. But if you are doing it digitally and you have not saved it yet, save now. Because you've officially written a thing on there. So this is my reminder to get to it. Wheeze, that's embarrassing wheeze. Too early wheezy. Oh wait, let me do this real quick also. Uh, because apparently a bunch of you jumped out and you can't see my screen jump out. We're gonna try and make it easier. And we're gonna come back in. Zoom, share, screen, help out the special children. Helping out the special children. Helping out the special children. Helping out the special children. All right, there we go. Hope that, so make sure you've saved it, and then saved it, and then saved it. All right, so now, here's your next question. All right, with character, what is, bunch of cheaters, all right. Valerie, good job. Technically, you're the first one to cheat properly because Emma came in too early. I can't count Emma's. Valerie was the one who waited for me to ask the question, although I'm going to start changing up the questions. You guys can't cheat as well. And then Macknell, you tagged in, and then Kyla, and then Jaden. Oh, nicely done. I mean, Jaden, again, way to flex like Greta did. Use a big word. I mean, not the correct one that I would use here, but it is a correct one. You just flexed on those kids. Um, and then Elena, I'm not sure why you did a who slash who. Uh, maybe I think you mean whom, but you were trying to flex. That's all right. And then Greta and Owl, you are a special child. Greta, don't let anyone ever tell you differently. Nicely done. Wow, Sydney with capital letters. All right. And then to there, then Rye, who just had a stroke. And then Uwu. Oh, that's adorable. Thank you. I feel the same way. Um, I, I don't think, oh, and that's how it works. I believe, oh, and that is called being creepy trying to capture people and keep them inside of, all right. Um, and then the sound an owl makes, ring a ding 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 ring a ding sorry. Um, and so a character who is in the story, nicely, yes. Good job, Macknell. Way to come back with capital letters and exclamation marks to try and shame all the other kids. You're like, Mr. Broviak, look at me, I'm special. Yes, Macknell, I'm well aware you're special. You don't have to do the I'm special dance. I already knew you were. I'm, I'm there with you. It's okay. So again, who is in the story? Uh, the big thing being can't be uh, not just people because again, just like with Bambi, uh, it can be a deer that we're going to kill because it becomes friends with a skunk and a small rabbit. It could, of course, be a, a sponge that lives in a pineapple. Um, it, could, it could even be a train. I mean, not in most stories, the train is not going to be a character. It's going to be a thing you raid on. Right, right, raid on ride on but sometimes you could name your train thomas and he could have a little conductor uh, and he could be absolutely adorable nicely done all right for si elena too early elena you swung early on that one that's so and see same thing with the other kids nicely done you're all coming in way too early so what are the there are two parts for all of you who are doing it the wrong way by only doing one of them and coming in early, there are two parts. So who was my first kid to get both parts? No, you're all doing just one of them. Uh, Rye, you are my first one. Good job, Rye. You get to flex on the haters. Nicely done. And then Ledford, no, Ledford, I apologize. Ledford, you have the same answer twice. You just wrote it in different ways to trick me. You almost got me, Ledford. I'm not falling for it. Uh, Parker, good flex, Parker. Uh, even though you look like a tin man, uh, but you'd have a really long answer. And then Wheeze, oh, now Wheeze tagging back in, um, and then Renzo with it, and then, and then Owen, that's a really long answer, and still only half of it. Carson, only half of it. Renzo, good to go. Kyla, why would you put question marks? It makes it like you don't know if you have the right answer. All right, Elena, don't not me, oh my goodness gracious. Then there, all right, and then, um, to special West Coast. Why, Watkins, why would you put why in there, Watkins? Why make me sassy? Now I'm asking you, why? I don't know, why would you do that either? Um, all right, Sasha, I'll give you your video back as long as you don't distract me. I have my own form of ADHD and it's distracting to me. All right, so as long as you don't distract me with random close-ups of your face. All right, then to here, the correct answer should have been when and where. Mr. Broviak, can we put why on there? No! Bad Sydney, you can't put Y on there. Mr. Broviak, I didn't even ask that. I know, I just wanted to sass Sydney again because it's fun. She freaks out every time. 
she gives me my I'm freaking out face. Uh -huh. That's the one. Nice and nice city. That's your Mr. Broviak is driving me insane. Um, I can't wait till you're actually in my class and I get to like be spewing like all kinds of craziness right in your face. You're going to be just seeing the entire class like this. Oh my God. It's going to be the greatest thing ever. This is why your sister got the name Twitch because the whole time I taught, she was just jumping the whole time. She's like, oh, I just, I just, you're insane. I'm like, I know I'm insane. It's okay. Moving on from my insanity. Uh -huh. Point of view. And then we're getting ready to see how many of you guys are going to try and swing on this one and miss. Again, there was a special word. You have to use my special word, uh, Valerie. Perspective is a good word, but not my magic word. There is a um, dum dum life is not a magic word. That is just the lifestyle that you are choosing to live. But I appreciate you letting me know. Ooh, I don't. I don't think we. Uh, uh oh, maybe we did. Macknell does know my special work. Good job, Macknell. You are my first one. You do get to do the special kid dance. Nicely done. And we yeah, have back there. Never mind. Parker technically beat you. He just had a longer answer. I didn't see it. Parker, you also get this special one too. I apologize, Parker. Go so you. And then Savannah. Stop. Don't end him in a question mark. It makes it sound like you don't know what you're talking about, Savannah. Exclamation marks. Come at me with authority. Now I'm like, well, I don't know. Are you asking me a question? Is it from there? Uh, na narrator is interesting. Uh, what point of view? No, Valerie. You swung again on that one. I appreciate your, your, your confidence. But on that, uh, the, no, Owen, you can't steal her answer of perspective and think that just because you wrote it, that makes it correct. I know. Owen's like, but Mr. Bropiak, I'm a boy and she's a girl. That makes it more right. Owen, how dare you say that? Oh my God. I would never say that. That was all Owen on that one. Uh, <laughs> I mean, good. Jenna, you should talk to Owen. How dare he try and steal someone else's answer? That is embarrassing. All right. There. Why? Kyla, are you trying to do your best Sydney impression? No, you can't try and throw Y in there again. Sydney already tried to make Y work. Just like Mean Girls, stop trying to make Y work. All right, you was a really good talk. There, I don't know, nicely done. All right, and then, I don't know what that means. And then, and then, random screaming at me, that's good. And then, all right, the correct answer should have been how. For those of you who are having trouble figuring out the correct answer, how the plot is told. Good job, Sydney. Way to tag in now on that one. Mr. Bobiak, I had it the whole time. You just didn't see it. I'm so innocent. Oh, no, I'm totally on that one. How the plot is told to us in the story or how we see. Don't worry, Sydney. In a moment, Owen is going to type your answer in, and I'll be like, oh, Owen typed it, so it must be correct. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Don't you roll your eyes at me. I get to sass you as much as I want to. Uh, yeah, good job, Carson. How we see this. Wow, it's almost like it's right there in front of you, Carson. Way to tag in on that one. It feels like you're a genius child. All right, so let's move on to my next level of sass. <sighs> Mr. Bobiak, is this just how, like, how you run actual class? Pretty much, uh, except instead of chat, it's you guys like yelling at me in class and times I get to make fun of you and, to your face, but that's pretty much how I run class because it entertains me. All right, here we go. So now we have our three. Mr. Bobiak, I'm looking at my little sheet of paper and, and, and the answer lines are really small. Yes, I'm, a, I'm aware the answer lines are really small. How, how are we supposed to get the information in there? Well, one, if you're doing the digital version, you're going to have to like zoom in and do the typey version. Um, if you're doing paper version, you're going to have to probably write really small or, you know, just ignore it and not do anything at all. And that's fine. So here's first person. Before you, no, you can't start answering yet. I haven't given you the question. All right. So here is your question on First person, yes, Greta, I see you keep raising your hand. I just keep not calling on you and I keep lowering your hand. You'll just have to wait till the end of class. All right, here we go. Here we go, chat challenge. All right, no Olivia Robbins, you can't try to tag in early, nicely done. You, got, you can't try and come in early, I just ignore you. On first person, what? are the pronouns we look for to know it's written in first person. So what are the pronouns we look for? And our first one is, ooh, Rye got that one. Nicely done, Rye. All right, and then let's see. And then Carson with a really long answer before that one, and him just all of a sudden throwing a whole bunch of words at me. Valerie just trying to taunt me, but Rye with the correct answer, and then Eli, and then 
Greta, who's just sassing me. Uh, Ledford, nicely done, although they beat you, Ledford. But hey, you're still in the game. Renzo, go you. Valerie, go you. McNall, nicely done, although you don't get to dance as much. Ooh, Savannah. I'm going to give a small shout out to Savannah because she threw in more words than the rest of you just did I and me. She threw in the bonus of we and us and Savannah. There's no question mark. Good job, Savannah. You learned. A little proud of you on that one. I know. Well earned. All right, the rest of you guys are good. And then Louise, nice long answer on that one. And then then, all right, the rest of you guys have that one. And then I, they, weirdos, cars and in your family. All right, and then to there, I uh, put, uh, again, Rye having a stroke. All right, so again, here we go. First person, main character, talking to us. Mr. Bobby, that's never going to fit in that tiny area. I agree, it's going to be a little bit tougher on you. But essentially, no, I, me, we. And the, good job, Sydney. Way to get it again. I'm so proud of you. One of these days, you're going to get it before I give the answer. And then... No, oh, you had it before that? I apologize. I didn't look up and see it. And don't you give me that innocent face. So again, I, me, we, and then main character talking to us. I, me, we. Yeah, Carson, I know you came in late. Not even, not even a try on that one. So I, me, we, and then main character talking to us. All right. Jenna Talbot, I'm assuming you have a fourth period class, but my guess is that you're probably like skipping. Oh my, God. and then the whole Talbot clan, can you guys not let Owen just learn in peace? No wonder Owen's trying to take over and like sass all everyone else in this class. He can't even have a moment of learning in there. Oh my goodness. Anyway, so now we're back with, back to third person limited and third person omniscient. No, Macknall, you can't try and tag in with the early, I haven't even given the question yet. Yeah, at least wait till I ask it. So let's go with, I have so many questions like here. Let's go with this one. All right, ready? On third person limited, how many characters is it supposed to follow? How many characters? See, Macknell, now your answer is completely wrong. You guys let Rye beat you guys again. Look at Rye stepping in. This, he's owning chat challenge. And then Eli coming in. Savannah. All right, small shout out to Savannah, who typed out the number one, O-N-E, and did not put a question mark. And not, uh, no, those of you who put... So I'm looking at you, kid who put three. Yeah, I, yeah. all of a sudden you realize, rut row, that's the wrong answer, and you're trying to figure out how to go back and delete chat. Yeah, I saw that in your eyes. Uh huh. A bunch of you are trying to figure out how to delete chat. Six? Oh, goodness gracious. Uh huh. And then come back in. Uh huh. Now so many of you guys are trying to. Uh, all right. So the correct answer it follows one character. Yeah, good job, Kylan. <laughs> Apparently the answer Rye is a lot. There is a lot of special kids in this class. So for third person limited, the pronouns he, she, they, them, and then the narrator follows one. So limited following hiccup, that's embarrassing, one character, and then he, she, and they. Excuse me again, hiccup. All right. And then, right, but I haven't been congrats. Sasha, I, the, I only congratulate the first few kids. You can't be like Sydney, who tags in at the very end after I say it, and then be like, why am I not getting credit? You just have to be faster, Sasha. All right, your last question, because Carson wants to leave. Here's your final question. I'll let you leave. On third person omniscient, I don't want the pronouns. I don't want to know how many it followed. Nice try, Greta. I know, you already had the wrong answer in there. I want to know, instead of it following the main character, who tells us the story in third-person omniscient? So in third-person omniscient, who? Nicely done. Eli won that one. Nicely done, Eli. And then I believe Savannah came in second. Savannah, you just missed it. He beat you in the top three each time, though. And then Olivia coming in. The antagonist, I mean, no, you're looking for the word protagonist, although that is a big word. Narrator, the all-knowing narrator, a narrator, a narrator, good job. Still, there you go, Greta, now you threw protagonist. Antagonist is the bad guy. Like, you guys are my antagonists, um, the main character. Close, that's actually first person. Narrator, side character. Oh, now you're just throwing in random things. And then following, nicely done, narrator. And then, then side. I don't know, that's not a good answer. And then to there, Sasha, that's why I don't congratulate you. Those are random emojis. All right, and then 
I am not the antagonist. I'm the protagonist of my story. You guys are my antagonists. All you do is antagonize me. So again, this is the last thing I have for you. Third person omniscient follows many characters, he, she, they. The only homework I have for you is going to be your uh, IXL. So the IXL homework, uh, if you have not turned in HH2, turn that in. Don't you whatever me. You're the one that filled the screw with a bunch of emojis. I'll whatever you. Um, and then the other homework is due Saturday. You don't have to email me for the other homework unless you turn it in late. As long as you turn it in on time, you're fine. No, Sasha, you're not rude. I've gotten used to you. It's okay. Even though you still put random pictures up there, they're not quite as distracting. Mr. Bobiak, I wasn't saying I was being rude. Oh, that's just it's confusing. All right, Greta, I'm going to give you a chance to raise your hand. Ready, Greta? Let's find out what happens. And then I see you, Valerie. You haven't figured out how to so, raise your hand yet, though. Since I turned in my IXL today and I sent you the remind, does that count as an email? Um, did you send me a remind? Yeah. So did I say send me a remind? No, I said send me an email. So the answer okay. is no. Okay, and second question. Um, um, hmm, hmm. Oh, Valerie, what's up, Valerie? So does that mean we have like extra, like like more IXL homework than we did like two days ago? I don't think so. Uh, you have you have the ones I saw. I've only assigned the three. The, the two that connected to the quiz, and then HH.2. So, so you it. didn't assign more? No, unless you ask nicely. Uh, but as of now, I've not assigned any extra, so you should be good to go. Um, and then there's Jean-Claude. You don't actually raise your hand, Jean-Claude, and you just put it in there. It's kind of hard to figure it out. Yes, Jean-Claude? So, on, so if you get, if you got like the 25, if you got over 85, right? Um, you don't have to do the other two, right? Unless you want extra credit. Okay. If you go on Skyward, you'll see the fact that you already have a 10 out of 10 on both of those. Seriously, Schnipple? All right, hang on. Quick timeout so I can mock Schnipple. All right, so hang on. Quick Schnipple mocking timeout. I'm going to go here. Hang on one second. This is going to be a fun game for me to play. Where is the mocking of Schnipple screen? Here is, come on. Come on, the mocking of Schnipple. All right, Schnipple, you're ready to play the game? Here we go. Share screen and share screen. Let's go to, is this, is that my Canvas screen? What is that right there at the top of my Canvas screen? Is that Mr. Brobiak's email? Wait, was that in our first quiz? Our first quiz told you how to find it. It was literally a question you had to answer. Sorry, now back to the rest of you. I had to taunt Greta for a moment. Sydney, are you gonna make me taunt you also? What's up, dear? Where, so I'm trying to save the like, markup thing that we did on the PDF. Where is the place? Corner. No, where do you save it to though? Cause like I tried to save it to Word, but then I went to Word and I couldn't find it. You're going to want to um, probably save it to either on my iPad, but most of the time, if you can find the spot that says your, um, what is it, the, the, uh, the here at school, not the not 360. You should have the option of iCloud on my iPad, and there should be a third option, which is where you guys are supposed to save all of your stuff. I'm completely spacing on it here at the moment. OneDrive? That's the word, thank you. Save it into a folder on OneDrive. You go to OneDrive, and then at the top right, there's a thing that says like plus folder, Create a folder in OneDrive for like English and you can just save it there. Okay, thank you. Welcome. All right, then back to your so I can get right on. And then, yeah, if you guys don't have questions, you can leave. I mean, I, I have all the other stuff covered. Um, and just for kids who want to talk, I didn't mean to keep you guys here. I apologize. Um, Rye. I just want to point out that I got like a whole bunch of height, height over your bozers. Well, well, also just a flex scene by I type by afterwards typing messages that that used only adjacent keys, like uh, sassafras becomes 
No, I'm not gonna let you keep taunting the poor kids because you are faster. That's my job, Rye. No more sassing children. Ah, Macknell, unless you're making me sass you also. So you said that it should be a 10 out of 10 if you got a 25 on the quiz. So I got a 25 on the quiz and they still say not graded yet. Um, on the, correct. Oh, that's because you're making me sass you. Have you gone to Skyward where the grades are? Grades are in Skyward. That's why you've not gone. Because I can't grade it, Macknell, because you didn't turn it in. That's why there's no grade there. It's making me snark a child right there. Goodness gracious. Now all of a sudden you're going to go to Skyward and go, Mr. Bobby, I could write that. Yes, Macknell, what's up? Oh, yeah. I thought you said that if you got a 25 out on the quiz that you would get an automatic A on those. You should, I'm double checking here. Let's see, Macknell. And yeah, I'm looking at Skyward right oh. now. Your name is Olivia Macknell. And on Skyward, it says you have a 10 out of 10 on both of those. Okay. Are you just wanting to, are you just wanting to flex on the other kids, Macknell? You just no, want me to go just... to there and talk about how awesome you are. No, I, I just saw it and it said it wasn't graded yet, which I thought was weird because I thought you would grade on Canvas. No, I don't grade on Canvas. Canvas okay, is, bye. I just, that you guys turn it in and then I grade it on Skyward. Toots. There you go. I, uh, yeah. Sophia, it's still soup. Are you trying to yell at me again? So, all right, Sophia, what's up with you? Well, this might be another stupid question, but it's going to be okay because it's a question nonetheless. So is there such thing as a, like, plug-in lawnmower? Yeah, they're electric. I mean, well, one, you, I mean, interesting question. You can actually have a lawnmower that actually runs off batteries. They're electric like a car. And you can actually have one that does plug into the wall. You have an extension cord. I know that because my dad made me mow with one when I was a kid, which is all fun and games. And so you're not paying attention because you're a teenager and you run over the cord and the house goes Nyar! and the lights go out and your dad comes out and yells at you. Um, so apparently that's a bad thing. Uh, so actually, yes, I would not recommend it, especially for teenagers because apparently they're irresponsible. I know that because I was one, uh, but yes. Um, Interesting question you asked. Go you. And I appreciate those of you who stayed around just to watch me sass children. I mean, it's a fun thing for me to do also. And someday when we're in class, you'll get to watch me uh, sass children in person. It's going to be the bestest. All right. Now, see you guys. Oh, yeah, I won't even see you guys till Monday. See you guys Monday and enjoy the weekend and stuff like that. You bunch of crazy 